Hey everyone, it's Bill the video, and today I wanted to go over how to get triple S rank in the new Shadow Captive World Boss. For those of you that weren't able to do it for the Light Boss, you may have different characters that may be very advantageous for this boss. So I'm going to go ahead and run through uh, the comp that I made to go ahead and get triple S for the first time on the leaderboards, which is pretty cool. Um, and then also we're going to go ahead and dive into some of the strategies and some of the characters that are very, very, very good for the skill boss. Let's jump into it. So here we are, we're at the Shadow Captive, and you can see uh, right behind my head, we got 1 million damage pretty much. Um, now, this is, we actually ended up changing up our comp and running the battle, and we pretty much got that on the second try, I think. Now, there's a lot of improvements we can make because I don't have ascensions on my characters. But before we dive into all that, I'm going to go ahead and just jump into the boss. I already went over the boss a little bit in my previous video, but we went ahead and played out the battles and just went ahead and figured out more uh, of what the boss is actually doing. So first off, the Sacred Heart is giving him extra attack. This boss actually hits decently hard. Now they may, they may just because I'm using squishier characters, but I think it's actually just because this boss hits harder. I've noticed my Yolanda and my uh, characters like that are losing a lot more HP. Now they're going to apply this Doom Mark, and this actually does a significant amount of your HP. It looks to be like 15% of your HP, 10-15% of your HP at the end of the turn, or at the end of the round. That's important because it's not like poisons at the end of the turn. It's every round. Everyone gets hit the same time at the end of the round, and it starts to scale up. Now, you need to go ahead and cleanse this off every turn, so cleansers are very, very important. Something like uh, Celestial Cane, Blackhorn, some people mentioned Brand in my previous video. The only problem with Brand is it's a four-turn cooldown, and this boss will absolutely overrun you if you, that's your only cleanser so i don't think brand is a reliable single type of cleanser unless you plan on bursting the boss in the first couple of turns so things like uh celestial cane blackhorn mary uh brand i guess uh those are the types of characters you're going to want to run and then the second mechanic kind of like similar to the elemental power in the first boss is instead of actually uh having us going ahead and applying four debuffs by the end of or the start of their turn and the end of the turn we need to hit six times before their start of the turn. Now, it's important to note that Ignites, um, Bleeds, these do not work. You need to actually hit them uh, because I've tried Ignites and Bleeds, as shown from my previous video, and it does not work because the buff goes up before the Ignites and Bleeds actually tick, so it doesn't count as actual damage. So you need joint attacks, you need a bonus attacks, you need counter attacks uh, for the next round. It's also important to note that this boss is extremely fast, um, so it's pretty much going to go in front of you no matter what, and it won't actually get this elemental power buff at this first round. Uh, it'll happen at the end or the start of the next round, so if you have someone like Gorel, for example, he's going to instantly counterattack, um, or if you have someone like William, you can set up the counterattacks for the next turn, so keep that in mind. Um, he's also going to give himself immunity and cleanse negative effects, so you have to time your defense down and things like that for this skill, and make sure that he's not getting immune. This immune skill is a single target hit. These two are AoEs, and these hit very, very hard, and if you have a lot of Doom Marks, you're just going to die, so keep that in mind. Now, let's go ahead and just jump into the leaderboards and talk about some of the characters that we ended up using. So you can see here in the individual rankings, we actually are ranked two right now, which is pretty awesome. Um, and what we ended up using is Jacob, EFD, uh, Yolanda, and Opal. It's a joint attack squad really revolving around Jacob's bonus turns and Evelyn's bonus turns. And Opal just getting the most out of her ultimate joint attack passive. And then we have the second team, which is a much more free-to-play friendly team, um, even though it's not free-to-play friendly at like free-to-play at all. <laughs> we have William, we have Orac, Gorel, and Celestial Kane. Now, Celestial Kane at Ascension 5 is much, much better. You can use an Ascension, you know, whatever outside of Ascension 5, but it's not going to be as good. I only have an Ascension 1 Gorel. If you have an Ascension 5 Gorel, this is extremely, extremely uh, good and much better. Now, you can see here, there's two kind of strategies we went with. We have first the joint attack comp, which is the first comp with Opal and Jacob. And then the second comp is more of a counter attacking slash bonus attack comp. So Orac has bonus attacks. He's going to get two attacks per round. Gorel's going to get that counter attack per round. And William's going to put up counter attacks and make sure all of our basics are doing more. And you can see here, generally, the uh, comps that we're running are bonus attacks, joint attacks. The, this comp at number three, Emogen, uh, Bulin, jo Bulin has bonus, joint attacks, Hector has bonus turns, Emogen has bonus attacks, Opal has joint attacks, Scarlet has bonus attacks, and you can just see throughout the whole list, that's what we're going to want to be running. 
Now, some of these people are not even running cleansers in their squads. Um, for example, uh, this one right here at rank three doesn't have a cleanser in team B. Uh, and team A has a light cleanser in brand. This rank one player in the first team doesn't even have a cleanser at all, except for uh, Yolanda gives him immunity. The second squad doesn't have any sort of cleansing at all as well. So keep that in mind. You, you can kind of outpace the boss and just burst it out in the first couple of rounds, but it is tough to do so. So generally what you're going to want to do is add in those things like joint attacks, bonus attacks, and then those cleansers. Now there are some very, very good characters for that. I'll just go ahead and go through the list here and go over my gear in just a moment. Opal's all very, really excellent. Uh, Yolanda gives that bonus turn in immunity. Uh, Blackhorn has cleanse. Gorel has joint attacks. Uh, things like Jacob has the bonus attacks. Antinua, if you want to go ahead and play with the Agile Leap mechanic. Marion Shadowblood is an excellent one. That was my initial thought process, and actually still have her geared out. But uh, I ended up going with a different comp because it was so much, so much RNG with Marion Shadowblood here. Uh, Mary is excellent. I actually think Goobag is really, really solid. The only problem is I didn't want to re-gear all my units to give him a bunch of speed and uh, six-star him, so I actually didn't end up using bag but i think he's actually really good for this because of his bonus turns uh boo lin is excellent for her joint attack uh and there's a bunch of others and i don't want to go through all of them we're going to jump into the gear and the stats that i ended up using for these comps and first off is yolanda she's in a revival set she's got 18k hp 19 energy defense uh 148 speed and her focus is at 45 percent just as the same for in the previous boss you only need to like 20 percent focus maybe even less i'm not quite sure what the number is but we ran Yolanda, we ran Opal here, and Opal is at 4,800 attack with uh, 11k HP and 1.1k defense. She's actually slower than Jacob, and this is because of how the bonus turns ended up working out with EFD. Generally, you're going to want her faster so she can proc her, joint, her uh, ultimate beforehand. Just keep that in mind. She's got 258% crit damage as well, and then uh, she is in no specific set. Then we have um, Jacob down here. He is in a curse set. I think that's very, very important. Um, he is in 4K attack, almost 3900 attack, 312% crit damage, 11.5K uh, HP with 1.15 defense. And then we have EFD here. And if you don't have EFD, you could easily use someone like Marion Shadowblood, someone who else gets joint attacks or bonus attacks. Um, EFD is not necessary at all. We have 21K HP, 1600 defense, and then just a little bit of focus on her in a revival set. And then we have the Team B, which was a much more um, accessible comp. And we have Orac here. He is going to be in uh, just a bunch of Warrior sets. 4,600 attack, 10k HP, 1.05k uh, defense. He is the squishiest on the team. And so if you could actually get him a little tankier, it would actually help him out a lot. I would highly, highly recommend you have him a little bit of speed on him so that he applies the defense down before anyone else goes. 300% crit damage here on him. Then we have William here, and his stats don't really matter. Uh, 20k HP, 2k defense, 190 speed, uh, and just a bunch of focus. Keep in mind that the boss is still faster than me at 190 speed, so I wouldn't worry about it. He's going to be faster, most likely. Um, and then we have a revival set on William. And then the next character in our list is going to be Gorel. There is Gorel. And uh, he has no curse set on him. He's 114 speed. I would like this to be faster than Celestial Kane. Um, and you'll see in some of the clips I'm going to play on uh, from my Twitch stream earlier today why that is. But he's got 4,700 attack, 295% crit damage. Pretty solid stats overall. And then the last one is going to be Celestial Kane down here. And he's got 2.3k attack, 16,600 HP, 1,500 defense. 116 speed, 221% crit damage, and max crit rate. You don't actually need a lot of tanky stats. You're going to get one shot or you're not going to die, pretty much. That's generally how it goes. Um, and so getting extra uh, damage stats on your Celestial Kane or your William actually does help uh, quite a bit on the damage. So just keep that in mind as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and showcase the run for you. It was on the Twitch stream. We were the first ones to get Triple S on this. So it was pretty exciting. And we ended up encountering a lot of bugs with this because the patch just dropped. So uh, we were unable to see like the Jacob passive and things like that. But I'm going to just jump into the, st uh, the stream clips and showcase. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you for the next one. Your Ryan is quite awesome. I, I would have to agree with that, Stephen. All right, that's basic.
Alright, let's ulti. Hopefully, Opal has the, uh... Oh, this is perfect. Wait, is it? Okay, so if we... Hold on, let's think about this. We would need to ult... Opal uses her ultimate. EF use defense down two next turn. Yolanda gives attack up two, and Jacob goes nuts. Yeah, let's ult here. So now we go attack up two, oh, we're on to Opal. We go defense down to. And we and we go off. All right, let's see a basic. Basic, basic. Oh, uh, we're barely missing some damage. We're barely missing some damage. All right, let's basic. Basic again. Up to 300k damage already. Uh, we could Agile Leap. Let's just basic and see where this uh, bonus hit is. Basic. That's basic here. Ooh. Yolanda's the healthiest, right? Evelyn's actually the healthiest. Alright, well, it's just basic here. We're gonna heal. Alright, let's Agile Leap to Jacob here so he doesn't die. And we can just basic. We just want a basic here. Then we ult. Opal will not die. We just need to make sure Yolanda doesn't die here. Okay, we're in. We're in. We have another round. We have another round. Woohoo! There's the defense down too. Wait, guys, I think we got this. Oh, yes. <laughs> let's go. Ooh, baby. We timed it. We timed it. We timed it. We have another round of this. <laughs> Jacob's not gonna die. Why would Jacob die? Oh, this is the most satisfying thing in the game right here. Oh. Dot damage applies at the end of the round, not the turn. 
The new hero seems like a very, very good character for PvP. What's up, Neva? We're just messing around with uh, the new event boss. Pretty fun. There goes everyone. Okay, we have 500k damage. Now we only need to do 400k with this team right here. 400k is what we're looking for. We could do it. We could do it. 400k, guys. 400k. Give me rank one of the leaderboards for at least a couple of seconds, yes? I think we got this. 400k. 400k is pretty common. We could do like 430k, I think, with this. Okay, there we go. Counter attack, counter attack. Okay, let's go ahead and call. Come on, call Garel. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is good. All right, let's smack. Hopefully the boss hits Garel. Is your Garel A5? My Garel's not A5, so there's a lot of damage potential missing here. Dang, he hit uh, Orak. I really did not want him to hit Orak. Oh, boy. All right, let's remove this immunity. All right, let's basic. 200k damage, guys. 200k damage. We can do it. 170k damage left. Orak should not die here. Yeah. Heals. Uh, into the uh, counter attack here. Basic. <clears throat> All right, Orak probably is going to die here. Yeah, Orak's dead. That's completely fine, though. We just need to make sure we survive this next round. Which we will. Alright, come on. Let's land the defense down. Please land the defense down. Okay, very good. Let's jump back over to uh, William here. Call Garel, please. Oh, we called Celestial Kane. That's not good. Okay, basic. Come on, hit Garel. No. It's not what we want at all. Let's go with the ultimate. Come on, don't kill Garel, please. Oh my goodness, it was so close. No! We did the most damage in the game, but we... We missed a few critical, critical... Oh, uh, there's... That's still number one, I think. But it's it was not triple S. It was not triple S. It was not triple S. Yeah, it was more damage than anyone in the game, but it was not triple S. We could do better. We could do better. We could do better. Let's run that again. That's brutal. <laughs> It's brutal. <laughs> All right, let's start off basic. Uh, let's ulti here. Yeah, I can't do that last thing. I, I I tried to look at my gear. I can't do it. Oh, that's a fail. If I had A5 Gorel, it wouldn't be a problem.
But alas. We need Opal or Yolanda to get this turn uh, to get Jacob's joint attack. And because we can't see it, because the game's bugged right now, uh, we're just going to have to keep running it until we get it. They replace Marion Shadow Blood Rifter. We were running that earlier. To get the right RNG, of course. Uh, it's basic here. I doubt that that's how the bug works, but maybe. Alright, let's pass over the... Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's the wrong... That was the wrong thing. I meant to pass it over to Opal, not Jacob. Come on, come on. All right, basic. Okay, Yolanda has it. We'll go bonus turn here. To basic curse proc, please. Nice, curse proc. Into basic. Into curse proc part two. Yes, okay. Very nice. Then we can basic again, get the last stack, and then we ult here. Very nice. And now we go attack up two to opal. We go defense down two here. Whoops. Oh, boy. We're just popping off here. All right, and then we go ult with Jacob. And we have fun. No healer and no new hero. Huh? Oh, I see. You're saying you got three new Legos. Gotcha. That's unfortunate. Alright, come on. Yeah, the Methasia Battle Pass is going to help out so many people here. Okay, hit Yolanda. We're actually going to go ahead and ult here. All the starter heroes in the battle pass is actually solid because the starter heroes are super good. Uh, it's basic. Come on. Please say uh, Opal actually has this one. Oh, she does. Hey, Bulb. How's it going? We're going to take some big damage here. Okay, uh, that's basic. Let's put up the shield, or the heels, that's basic. That's basic. First proc. Nice. Jacob, Mathasia, Yolanda, Marion, Shadowblood. Uh, actually we used Jacob, Opal, Marion, Shadowblood, and Joseph earlier. That's what we were using earlier. All 
Uh, because he gives the attack up to everyone in bonus turns. Thing is, with 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 Mithasia in there, you don't have enough bonus turns. Uh, because you don't get the bonus turns when you want them. Shorter cooldown. Let's see. Uh, what do we want to do here? Also, the attack up is... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You could use... Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works 100%. Um, okay, let's pass over the attack up here. Defense down. That's all. Don't have Ace Discord? Well, you should get Ace Discord. Otherwise, you won't be able to see the events. <laughs> uh, it's basic. 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 You got Tashir? You pulled me here on free summon? What do you mean, not much? That seems like a lot to me. Ooh, we have one more turn. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. We did 600k damage. Oh, you got Dark S3. I see. I see what you're saying now, Bull. That's still solid, but yeah, I much prefer the new character over Dark S Arena. We got this now. We could do 300k damage. I have no doubt we could do 300k damage. So we finally did it. We finally did it. Hype. Hype as heck. We did it. We got Triple S. I think we're the first people to get Triple S, but we'll have to see. Oh, wait. No, I messed it up. I got distracted. Ah, uh, it is what it is. We're going to have to Agile Leap over here to Orac. Do I still do takeovers? Um, I do a lot of paid takeovers now. I don't really have... like So I'm creating daily content for um, Infinite Magirite slash Dislight at the moment. And then I'm also going to be creating daily content for uh, Diablo Immortal uh, starting the next couple of days. And then I'm also creating daily content for Ace. So I just don't have time to do account takeovers unless like I can s literally stop doing something else I would otherwise do in life then do your discord yeah i uh if you message me privately make sure you message me before you go ahead and and uh all the information's in the discord uh but uh if you do want one make sure you don't just send money because <laughs> i have to like carve out time to make sure that i i have time because <laughs> i have had people just send me money and i'm like uh <laughs> When does Diablo come out? Uh, it comes out uh, June second. Comes out June second. <laughs> I'm excited because I'll I'll be really busy. I'm excited because I'll be really busy. I enjoy making content though. I, I'm actually just like I enjoy the process, which is why I want to do it. And I have a feeling Diablo will be really fun to stream. So there's always that. All right, let's heal. <laughs> it sounds good right now. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. 
Do you have an ace guild I could join? You know, I probably am actually going to create a second guild with my alt account. And then also, uh, kind of, uh, make the recruiting process a little harsher for the main guild because... Because I want to try hard for... Yellow 63, no guild, all my guild members left. Whale only. No, not whale only, just people who play every day and are higher level. I'll sort of separate into like the, the lower level players and then the higher level players. <laughs> whale only. Ooh, now we can go ahead and ult. We're going to keep CK alive and uh, and William alive. Let's see if Garel survives. Nah, he does not. It's all good. Didn't any add anything to the to the market? Yeah, they did not. That is true. Ooh, one million damage! We broke one million! We broke one million! Let's go! Let's go! Rank one, baby. Rank one. Let's yoink that. Rank one. Let's go, rank one, baby.